Okay, this video is going to show you how to get Neo Geo ROMs working with RetroPie 2.3. Uh, this is going to use Final Burn Alpha as the emulator rather than uh, RetroArch or I think the other one is GNGO. Uh, by default, RetroPie 2.3 should be configured to use uh, FBA anyway. So we can double check that and we can FTP into the Raspberry Pi or SFTP into Raspberry Pi and check how it's configured. So I'm using FileZilla, but you could use whatever's uh, good on your system. Um, I'm going to open up a connection and here's the IP of um, my Raspberry Pi. And I'm saying I want to SFTP into it. Normal username of Pi and password Raspberry. I'm going to hit connect and just uh, connects up to the Pi there. and. Uh, puts us in our home directory. So the first thing we're going to do is check that the Raspberry Pi is configured to use uh, FBA and we can do that by looking in the ETC folder. So if I scroll up here and go in ETC then in the ETC folder there's an emulation station folder and nessystems.cfg and I'll probably do another video showing where all the directories and config files are in case you want to edit anything manually but this one's quite useful just to see how um, emulation station is going to use Final Burn Alpha. So on that file I'm going to right mouse click and hit uh, view edit and it says yep yeah, I want to open that and within that file I'm not sure if that's going to show you well on the screen but on the file we can see if I scroll down a bit in there Final Burn Alpha and it's just got some details in here saying that um, it's going to be run by this command here and it is in the PIFBA folder so it's running Final Burn Alpha as opposed to the one that's commented out below which is a RetroArch version of running it which is not the one we want so by default it should all be good anyway anyway um, back to that section and what we're going to do is first thing you need to do is download the ROM set for the Neo Geos and there's a few out there, but it's best to get one specifically for Final Burn Alpha. I think the BIOS file might be a little bit different, um, maybe some tweak for this to get the Final Burn Alpha for Pi version working. So I've downloaded one called FB Alpha uh, version 0.2.97.08, you can see it there. And if you search with your favourite Usenet or Torrent or normal website search, you should be able to find those posted and when you get the files you get uh, about 300 or so Neo Geo ROMs um, and importantly within that there's a uh, Neo Geo .zip file which contains the BIOS and uh, what Final Burn Alpha needs to use and that's really the main focus of this to make sure that you've got that file and it's put in the right place on the Raspberry Pi to make sure it's all going to run okay. So over back over on uh, the Raspberry Pi section here we're going to copy these files where they need to be so the first directory is go back up here first directory is home and in Pi then in the Pi directory there is retro Pi folder and in the retro Pi folder these are the two folders that appear when you access it in Windows or Mac or whatever you're using they're shared um, that's the shared ROM area. So if we go in ROMs, you can see all the systems and FBA is the one for the Neo Geo. Open that and you can copy across your ROMs to this directory. So I've already done that. You can see they're all listed there. But all you'd have to do is select a few here, drag them across there and that copy across. And that includes the Neo Geo.zip file. So that does exist in this folder as well. Um, I think it gets used in this directory, but it's worth copying over just in case. And that's that's the main task of it all. Separately, we've got to get the Neo Geo .zip file to a couple of other places on the Raspberry Pi. One of them is if uh, I check up here, we, we're just in the FBA folder, but up here we've got the BIOS folder as well, and it's worth putting in there just to make it easily accessible if you need it again. Um, and maybe the emulator is looking here for it as well, but I don't think so. It's just worth keeping a copy of it in the BIOS folder there. So that's Home Pi, Retro Pi, and BIOS. Then the last place you need to copy it is in the emulator itself. So again, if we go back to the top of the um, the root directory of the Pi and choose the OPT folder, 
and in APT we're going to go in RetroPie and in there we're going to find the emulators and here are all the emulators that RetroPie uses RetroArch being quite a key one um, but what we want in this instance is PyFBA because that's what's going to run the Neo Geo ROMs and in this folder you can see I've copied the Neo Geo zip so you just drag it from here across to here and um, have it in that folder and that's pretty much it once those are in place there shouldn't be any problems running FBA on uh, emulation station you fire it up you'll see that there'll be a sort of um, icon for FBA in the emulation station interface within there you'll see all your ROMs and when you fire that up it should run the ROM without issue I've tried it on quite a few and there doesn't seem to be a problem some of them are a little bit buggy but by and large, um, everything seems to run without a problem. I think a, a key part of this is making sure you get the right sort of ROM set just in case there's incompatibility issues. But this one works fine for me.